I we are going to see the T shoot CCNP T shoot 300135 ticket number nine. Okay. Uh, as I stated earlier, we are going to divide into two sections. That is routing and that is layer three and layer two. First, let me check by pinging that server IP from router R4. In two not nine sixty five. 200.241 I able to reach so let me come back to distribution switch okay ping 209.65 okay I am able to reach from here so just I am going back to aggregation switch ping 209.65 200.241 okay I'm trying to ping from that aggregation switch I'm able to reach okay just go to PC IP config see actually in real exam you won't get this IP because DHCP ticket is not in Okay, anyway, this uh, device is not getting the IP. This is the DHCP server which is going to release the IP. Anyway, let me check first the issue related whether related to VLAN or port security or trunk port. Then we move forward to whether it's DHCP server issue. Okay, let me check from here. You are not getting the DHCP. What might be the issue? Okay. So if you are not getting the proper IP from here you can't check because you won't ping any interface. Okay. Even you can't ping the gateway also. So there is a two issues there. Sir three issue. Okay. What could be the three issue? One is related to access VLAN which was mapped to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 and aggregation switch second point will be port security configured on this fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and fast ethernet 0 slash 1 both the ticket already we solved so the next thing is go to the port channel and aggregation switch just we need to check the port channel status This is the two port channel, port channel 13 and port channel 23. Conf here on the aggregation switch. We have to check that these two interfaces the port channel is conf here, right or not. Okay, let me go to the first one. See interface port channel 13 switch port trunk allowed VLAN 120 and 200. See what is our PC VLAN? It's a VLAN 10. But here it was configured 120 and 200. So the problem is we are not configured the VLAN on port channel 31. It was not uh, allowing that VLAN 10. So this PC is not getting IP address from the DHCP server which is located remotely. So this port should be trunk because trunk port will allow all the VLANs until you are specifying the allowed VLAN if you are specifying the allowed VLAN it will act as a trunk still it will allow only the specific VLANs 120 and 200 other than these VLANs it will it will drop the packets any other VLAN so how, how you can rectify this issue port channel 13 and 20 okay you need to configure interface port channel 13 switch port see two method we can use I am just going to remove all the VLAN okay then you can add only the 10 VLAN and 200 because 200 is a uh, management VLAN and uh, uh, 2020 is the FTP server VLAN okay the FTP server aggregation switch right
so wieder. See, the 20 VLAN is configured for FTP. Okay, anyway, in exam, we are not going to look this one. Anyway, I checked. I am going to allow 20 and 200 is a management VLAN. You can do in two ways. No. Switch port, switch port, trunk, allowed, VLAN, none, okay, because just to remove all the VLANs, okay, and then switch port, trunk, allowed, VLAN, 10, 10 is a, this VLAN, 20, 200 I am just specifying this one but our aim is if you allowed only the 10 VLAN also it's sufficient to sort out this ticket but in exam point of view you have to be configure all this uh, necessary VLANs which was in architect which is uh, 10 is for uh, uh, this PC 20 for that FTP 200 is a management VLAN okay similarly I am configure the port channel 23 also Base port channel 23 switch port trunk allowed VLAN none switch port trunk allowed VLAN 10 comma 20 comma 200 okay just to go and check just whether it start reporting Right, switch port trunk VLANs. If similarly, you can check in the distribution switch also. Port channel 13, it should be. See ya. Yeah, there is no, it's, it's simply trunk. It's so it's allowing all the VLANs. Okay. Not specific VLAN, okay. It's allowed all the VLAN, so no issue. Just to go back, FP configuration, just to request the DHCP. Actually, this is the thing. Your box is the bug is there because it's even you reconfigure. I have to interface range faster than a zero slash ninety two. Let me check what is the port channel somewhere. So with that channel, oh sorry, it should be so with that channel summary. Okay, twenty one and twenty two. Con fifty interface range fast Ethernet zero slash nineteen two twenty two shutdown no shutdown it should obtain the IP address. We can't fear here at See, this is VLAN 10 UIG sense. You can go and check whether DHCP IP is released or not. Because this is R4 is releasing the DHCP guy. See, this is released. Okay. This IP is released. But here, here the IP is not good. We are not getting the IP address from here. See, this IP was released here. So there is no issue. It should get the IP address here as well.
Oops, I haven't switched up the full plate. Should get this IP address from here. Okay, it's not auto. This is not an issue. Okay, ticket CP is taken. I restart the PC. IP address. It should get the IP address. You got the ticket CP for this one. Can try from here. Two not nine sixty two hundred dot two forty one. Okay, we able to reach this one. I think I did something. Interface, algorithm settings, global. What is the issue? I pick config. This IP address is not required. Okay. This is powered off. Okay. okay. Anyway, let me see the answer for this one. Okay, answer is the trunk VLAN issue, right? We are connected. This interface in fast Ethernet. See, its port is showing down. Config T interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 shutdown. No shut. The port is not coming up, that's why it's not taking the IP. Okay, port is showing down. Maybe we can reconnect the cable and let me try. You have to connect. Why this is creating the issue? Still, port is showing down. Config D interface fast internet zero slash one. Shut. No shut. Still, the port is not showing up. Still, it switched on. 
come on with settings settings okay let it be maybe god or issue we can ignore this one see let me go for that answer the question is related to we are we are uh, we are going somewhere else anyway this is related to tissue ticket okay this is a port channel 13 issue the issue is aggregation switch the port channel 13 and port channel 23 the vlan 110 on 20 and 200 was allowed that's a vlan 10 it was not allowed line pc1 pc2 so we executed the command switch switch port trunk allowed vlan none and then allowed only the vlan the 10 20 and 200 okay the answer one is ticket nine answer one is aggregation switch okay wrong switch to switch connectivity maybe it will in exam it will come like a uh, port channel issue okay the port channel issue you have to select the appropriate answer port channel issue then what is that priority action to solve the problems uh, executed vlan one allowed the vlan 10 uh, need to be added this can be done by executing the switch port trunk allowed vlan and after that you have to be specify what are the vlans need to be allowed work only only relevance vlan and trunk as follows switch port trunk allowed vlan and then switch port trunk allowed vlan see here it was specified as 1 10 and 200 i uh, allowed 10 20 and 200 vlan 1 is nothing but default vlan you just choose the appropriate answer the vlan 10 should be allowed even 200 is not allowed or 1 is not allowed is not an issue 10 should be allowed to solve this problem the client then only client one client one pc1 will be able to reach this one the web server i hope you all enjoy this ticket so if you like this uh, you can just uh, give a like and share the, the video uh, and please provide your feedback on it if you like this video you can you can even even you you didn't like the video just to give this like and provide your comments so that I can improve myself I just I, I am also just a learner I keep uh, uh, trying myself to improve my networking skill as well as it will help full if you give the feedback uh, and also it will get these these tissue uh, tickets will help for you to clear the exam so please watch video fully and just to practice it and just to get clear this certification bye thank you for